I'd like to hear what you have to say about this guy. Look, Nancy, right now they don't have enough. They have a very, very little. They have this image of him. They know that he's a bad guy, that he has a record. They know that they suspected him about that other girl, Samantha, but they don't have much more. And unless they're very careful, they're going to end up with a Zimmerman, end up with a Joshua Young and an acquittal. So they have to be very, very careful here that they have enough evidence before they move. Okay, uh, does, does this back it up? Before you move me, Gold, all the way to the not guilty, out to you, Jeff Gold. Why isn't he talking? If he's innocent, why isn't he telling police why he was having a conversation with this girl at the gas station? Well, he has a right not to talk. And look at the kind I didn't of ask facts. You that. And, look, look at the I kind of the facts you're marshaling, Nancy. I know you're talking the about going to a sex shop. A sex shop that he 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 had a burglary conviction. I mean, come on, these, there's nothing a here. Why should conviction? he talk? Uh, Tom and I, that's the tip of the iceberg. He's got a rap sheet as long as I-75, so a burglary so conviction. Your name is not Tom Banakis, is it? Is it your name, <laughs> Jeff Gold? All right, yes, Regina, if he has nothing to hide, why isn't he talking?